So Warhammer Old World has just come out. It's been a month and I think I'm ready to print out some armies. We got four kilos of 8K aqua gray resin from Frozen. We got a new build plate. Look at that shiny goodness. Oh boy. This is the mighty 8K so we could print out, you know, whole units at the same time if not two. So let's get down to it. We're going to do chaos stores. We're going to do Bretonians. I'm doing a Cathay-themed Empire army, and then anything left over, let's just see what we can do. All right, so we are done. Sorry if I sound a little tired. I've spent the last four and a half hours building um, the models and then putting them on bases. So yeah, we, so we started with four kilograms of resin, and I actually very underestimated how much I could build with that. I also wasted probably 500, um, what's half of a kilo, half, 500 milliliters of uh, resin, so half a kilo. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I wasted half a bottle of uh, just failed prints, so I guess that's realistic because most people starting off printing are going to not have the perfect build um, settings and their stuff will fail. So yeah, I, I wasted 500 in just failed prints and then another 500 printing these stupid bases. If you guys are thinking about 3D printing resin bases, don't do it. You'll, you will fail, they will fail because for some reason um, printers just, it's just hard to build these flat surfaces. And that's what a lot of people told me, and I wasted a lot of resin, so that's one bottle down the drain. So, yep, yeah. so we pretty much started with three bottles, and we were able to chug out most of the Chaos Dwarf army. So these are models by Fabelzel on Thingverse. I'll put his link in the description below. Very cool. Let's check out one of these uh, up close here. I actually upscaled this 10% and I should not have. Um, I think they were perfect size the way they were. So if you build these models, um, do not upscale them. And if you're wondering why there's a base on a base, it's because these bases I printed, the sides were so weak that they just snapped off. So some are, some are on a base, some um, printed out normally. You can tell, you can see right there, see, half of the base snapped off. But very good model. You can see the 8K uh, kind of stands out. It really pops the details in the model. Love it. So we got 50, 51 of these bad boys here. 51. We have some uh, gunner boys. These guys are fire glaives, I believe, but they're actually, these look like more blunderbluss, so I'll probably pick up the actual, probably just pick up some recasts, to be honest, of the fire glaives from Forge World, and then use these guys as blunderbluss models. So yeah, there's that. We got some uh, hobgoblin crossbows in the back. We have some mortars here. Everything should be on the correct base size. We have some hobgoblin archers. I'm missing two, so it's very annoying. I don't know where they went, so I'm probably gonna use two of these if I don't use them. And then I'm missing one of these cutthroat guys. So these are also from Fabelzell. Free downloads, check out his um, link in the description below. Also from Babelzell, we have the Lamassu. Check that out. And then we have Bull Centaurs, and the Bull Centaurs, their new base size is actually this size. But these models are so small, I just felt weird putting them on that size, so I, I put them on the new size for cavalry. And then we have our two sorcerers. I'm just a regular warlord type guy. I sized them up to by 15% just to make them a little bigger than the rest of the troops. And then this, I actually had this file from Heroes Infinite, which is Raging Heroes uh, Patreon. 
So I just printed out a Chaos Dragon. This actually printed out flawlessly and it's pretty supported. So I'll put a link to their site also in the description below. So yeah, this is a very amazing model. Pre-supported, printed out like perfectly and just snaps together. Amazing. And this, these models here, these are also from Heroes Infinite and I actually didn't, have, didn't pay for anything. I just, I was looking through my files and I happened to have their version of Bretonians. It's called like King Arthur's something. <laughs> But yeah, so I printed out some hippogriffs here. I'll probably use them as Pegasus or whatever has better rules. But I printed out a bunch of those. And then in my stupidity, I realized these take up a lot of resin. And I didn't have enough to print out the things I needed to. So I was planning on printing triple this amount of knights. Uh, some of these knights uh, bits didn't print out, but I still kept them because I don't like wasting resin. So I'll cover it up with some shrubbery and fake grass. Okay. And then we have some foot characters here. So this one, um, off screen, this one, the green knight keeps falling over. I need to put a penny or something on his base. Yeah. So this is the green knight. I'll just show you. Also from Heroes Infinite. It's actually a sick model. I'm trying to focus it. Like algae coming off his sword. There we go. Put that there. King Arthur there. We could use this lady, uh, this chick as the lady of the lake. That's actually a really good model. Crazy detailed. Some probably use this as like a sorcerer or something. <clears throat> and then, yeah. And then I said I was planning on printing some Cathay, but I did not have enough resin. Even if I didn't, uh, even if I didn't have that bottle of just failed wasted resin, I probably would have needed two more bottles to print out a Cathay army. So, the three models I did print out, which are also from Heroes Infinite, they have their own line of Asian uh, models. So I printed out this guy up to use as like a warlord. He's holding like a demon head. This chick is just like a. I could have just used her as like a random character. And then this cool mounted character just looked cool, so I printed it out. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Like, uh, I love Patreon because it's just 10, 15 bucks a month. Um, they work hard to put out all these files. And if you just subscribe to them, support them, you'll build up a whole catalog of files you won't even know you had, like me. <laughs> and you can print out whole ass armies. Oh, I love when my stuff falls over. So yeah, that is what I was able to print out with four, pretty much three bottles of resin. Um, the bottles were $35. They're usually $40 uh, when they're not on sale on Amazon. But you don't have to use 8K resin. You can use cheaper resin, of course. I just wanted to use it to see what kind of results I can get. So yeah, though this is the start of my old world army. We got a nice batch of Chaos Dwarves. I always wanted a Chaos Dwarf army and I could maybe use this in Age of Sigmar casually as just regular dwarves, I guess. So yeah, very cool. I'm actually mostly excited about this Chaos Dragon. Very nice. All right, so hopefully this helps you guys out. If you're thinking about 3D printing, do not underestimate, um, one, the amount you can get out of a bottle. Two, you will probably fail. So keep buy an extra bottle to make up for your failure rate. And yeah, that is my old world video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.